glass has the intrinsic sort of physical characteristics of color and light and shine and so those things are already there so every time you have a design and you start to put those elements together the glass wants to do something different and you have to look at that and you have to figure out how that can happen i never really thought i was an artist that's always what i did until you know you have to call yourself something and so everything that I, I sort of see and look at is in my mind's eye, and it comes out later. I wanted it to represent New Hampshire. I wanted it to represent my aesthetic in glass art. But I also wanted it to be sort of a handheld piece that the recipient could sort of brag about, could sort of you know show people and just talk about their award, a rock carn is something that, you know, represents, when you're hiking, it's sort of food and shelter. Sometimes it's a memorial. This sort of felt like it could be a representation, uh, memorializing a, a path someone has taken to promoting the arts. And I thought that was kind of a cool connection. So in working in the card, I can sketch it out and I can, you know, get it to be three-dimensional in my head. I think part of the Art of putting it together, I literally stacked it on my desk as though it was a carn, and I left it there for a couple of days. Not that anybody was going to come in and blow it over, but I kind of just wanted to see if the glass would just do its own thing and stay there, which it did. I started by thinking about the carn, and they were actually rocks. In fused glass, you, everything wants to be small. I played with a few things. I also did a pot mount which is something where you put all the glass in together and it runs through these holes and makes a big plate at the bottom. There's uh, pattern bars that I was working with which are much chunkier and give you more of a rock formation. So I, that's where I'm combining some of those techniques just to see where I can, can push that. I think that's the other thing I like about fused glass is it's never the same twice. It's the great before and after. There is change that happens and you can't avoid some of that. It's a little bit more special that each award will have its own sort of personal character, even though they're all cards. My name is Vern Orlask. I work in fused glass um, in Manchester, New Hampshire.